I, Elid Wabukala Omkehe. Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Chair Elid Wabukala was sworn in at the Supreme Court in Nairobi in an event graced by Chief Justice David Maraga and Attorney General Gidu Mwigai. Do swear that I will at all times. It was not lost on the retired Archbishop that the war against graft is a daunting task, but gave the assurance that he was up to the task. I'm committed to strengthen the administration of ASC so that it continues to deliver on its mandate efficiently and effectively. And going by his 12 years' wealth of experience at the National Anti-Corruption Campaign Steering Committee, Wabukala called on the private sector and the public at large in implementing the 2016 Bravery Act, saying that the dragon of corruption cannot be vanquished from only one front. I firmly believe that the war against corruption in this country can be won, but it requires multi-pronged strategies, bring together all sectors. The Chief Justice David Maraga and Attorney General Gidu Wigai both praised Wabukala as an individual with impeccable credentials that would help restore public confidence in the anti-corruption body. In confronting it, Bishop, have no illusions whatsoever about the power, the influence, and the money of the corrupt. I think this team could not be in better hands than in the hands of a man of God. I am sure that when the going gets tough, you will be able to assemble them <laughs> and uh, to invoke uh, uh, your talents in your previous life to bring calm and get the team uh, working. The CJ further challenged Wabukala to retain his dignity and strive to ensure watertight investigations. Wabukala replaced Philip Kinisu, who bowed to pressure after he was adversely mentioned in the 791 million shilling scandal at the National Youth Service. Irene Chuma Odim, Channel One, News Hour.